Well, happy Friday to all you guys. It is a uh, real early Friday morning. Um, it's probably like 3.30, 4 o'clock. Third shifter, and um, I <laughs> fell asleep a few times throughout the day and woke up about 45 minutes ago and couldn't get back to sleep. So, figured, why not knock out the shave now and maybe go back to sleep. Who knows? We'll see. Um, it's just going to be me and Grant today, so uh, I don't have to wake him up at any certain time. And um, I'm not fighting on no sleep like I was yesterday morning. So, um, today, trying out something different. Uh, and by something different, um, I mean, I've never been a fan of Bay Rum, alright? Until about mm, just a few days ago, alright? Today we're going to be going with... Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Atomic Age, Bay Rome. Now, I'm going to say why I decided to roll with this, because I don't like, I didn't like Bay Rums. Um, I ordered a sample of the aftershave of Pineapple Bay Rum, and I was hooked because of the fact that there's no clove in it. That was the problem, alright? Um, and this might be a little bit of a personal issue. Back in the day, my mom used to smoke clove cigarettes, she used to put clove on all kinds of food, and I thought that it was just a little bit too, too bitey, if you will, or too spicy. And I like spicy foods, but clove, not for me. Um, Douglas Smythe did a hell of an amazing job with this stuff. I wasn't a Bay Rum guy, I'm a clove-free Bay Rum guy, because this is amazing. So. Uh, we did end up getting the matching splash, so we're going to roll with that. Um, I figured I'm going to try and get at least one last use out of Trusty Rusty before I send him out to the stallion, so um, bid him farewell probably this weekend. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I just never get around to doing it. It's not that I'm, you know, holding on to it out of sentiment. But, and then today, I'm going to use the Omega Bore Professional. So, without further ado, I'm going to just stamp in the face a little bit, and we'll get rolling. I almost feel kind of naked without the, the Shelby cap, if you will, but uh, they're hanging up in my bedroom, and my wife's sleeping, and I really don't feel like waking her up to try and stumble around to find one. So, <laughs> so here we go. I possibly could have overhydrated this stuff today, so may have to. Yeah, there's bloops going all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of hit or miss with some of these. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I've been going out of my way to break this boar brush in, and I'm digging on it the more and more I use it. But at the same time, bowl lathering with it is nowhere near as simple as bowl lathering with a synthetic brush. Um, it's, it's very misleading as to how this hangs on to water, unlike, I mean, it, badger brushes obviously retain water, synthetics don't. But this doesn't retain water like a badger and it doesn't basically expel water like a synthetic so it's it's coming down to a delicate art if you will of trying to figure out how the hell to use this thing but I mean since I've been using the hell out of it lately it has become extremely soft so it's been more and more pleasant to use I just didn't want to tub load or use this in the tub without um, breaking it in better because I didn't want it scratching everything out of the tub and overloading the hell out of it. So that was my reason. And I think given that I'm not working till Sunday, I think I'm going to leave the mustache alone for the weekend. So not that it's at all irritated, but 
Um, trying to go against the grain with Trusty Rusty on the mustache was one thing that was causing it to tug. Everything else, it's still a soft shave. But, I mean, if I'm going to use a razor for one thing, I might as well use it for everything. So I don't want to just have one that I can use on mustache-free days. <laughs> so, alright, that should be, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, those peaks that are coming out and falling down are more than good enough. Yeah, it just needed worked in a little bit better. So, I don't know what you guys, hopefully you guys have got something fun planned for the weekend. I, uh, I got my sister-in-law and my niece coming over tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if sister-in-law's boyfriend's coming, but my niece's two little girls will be coming too. I think I'm going to be firing up the smoker and cooking a few pork butts. So, um, Anthony Esposito, if you're listening, I want a few pointers as to, um, how to get that whole smoker hobby of yours started. He just got a brand new Traeger the other day, and I was just stoked for him. So, um, I don't have a Traeger. I've got a side-by-side. -side. Um, main reason if I had one that I could, like Ron Perpeel would say, set it and forget it. I think I would dry the hell out of it. So, but that's that's me. Um, damn it! The Allen block. It's been like six minutes and I haven't even started shaving. Oh well, at least I don't have to shave the mustache today. So, so aside from that, um, the weather here was really nice at the beginning of the week and got ugly as shit yesterday um it was like a high of 48 yesterday thursday so um not the most fun day to be living in northeast ohio especially given that we've had some 70 degree days so at any rate here we go pass number one this is probably like shave 40 plus for trusty rusty here Today's the reason why he's getting shipped out. <laughs> now, if you look, he's still doing his job, but um, I'm now starting to feel a little more tugging than I used to. So, uh, I'm sure the stallion will put a hell of a nice edge on it, and it'll be back in business before too long. I don't think the spine has too much hone wear, and the nice thing with it being a wedge is... You know, you've got a little bit more wiggle room to work with. Yeah, still doing the job. As long as, as long as your technique stays sharp, <laughs> no pun intended on the razor, um, as long as you're using good technique, you can usually get a little bit more life out of a razor before it needs honed again. Um, part of that was, you know, it being pointed out to me that originally on I was scraping, not cutting, and, um, you know, once you actually put the blade in a much more a better angle of attack, if you will. That's a term from me living in the aviation world for so long. Um, you're going to get a lot more use out of the razor because you're making it much more efficient. You know, it's like if you're using an axe to split wood, you're going to split it end to end. You're not going to try and split it in the middle of the piece. You know, like, if this is my piece of wood, I'm not going to try splitting it like this. I'm going to try splitting it like such. 
same thing with how you're cutting with a razor. So it appears as though that tag video that was sent out a few days ago was received pretty well. Um, Stallion had tagged me in a video of if you could only choose five artisans to use for the rest of your life, who would they be? And I had reached out to a few people to share their thoughts and already um, my guy Serge out in California has responded. Enjoyed that video, bro. Nice one. Um, and uh, I had also reached out to Chad Murphy, CD Shaven, and he said he's going to put one out in a few days. So he's just obviously real busy, and, you know, with a, a young kiddo like myself, I know that uh, you can never do stuff on the regular. You're a parent first, and then, you know, you can do all this fun stuff whenever you get the spare time. bad for first pass. I'm going to put you guys on hold. I'm going to rinse up, relather, and we'll be back for the against the grain. And I'll take care of the across the grain off camera. So hang tight for just a few minutes and I will be right back. Alright, we are just about ready. I uh, didn't want this getting timed out. I, every time I think I know ballpark how much time I have, damn thing cuts out and then I'd have to start another video and piece them together. So, like I said, I'm just about finished. Yep. So, I don't know what you guys' opinions might be on bore brushes. I, I gave this one the benefit of the doubt. Um, at first it was brutal to use, and I, uh, followed that break-in technique that um, I saw and I think Doug Bear, the barely normal wet shaver, was the one who had mentioned, you know, obviously using the cold water trick, but then um, instead of just scrubbing it on a towel after it's been in the cold water for you know, however many hours, I don't remember right offhand, he used burlap, which helped um, split the ends or soften it up quicker and I in turn tried it and it made the break-in process a lot easier and then um, I just flat out said that I was gonna um, use this thing as much as I could bowl lathering it just to basically overstimulate the bristles as much as I could to get them broke in a little better and it's been a very pleasant brush to use now so I mean I'm glad I did it and I'm glad I didn't just say to hell with this thing and shit can it because um, I was having a problem with the badger brushes that I had I mean I love my Savile Row so I'm not talking about that one I'm not talking about the Frank shaving brush but I had got a few badger brushes that were just so damn dense and I couldn't get them to release the lather that I figured I'd try and give a bore brush a, a chance, and it does everything I want it to. So, um, it's nice to to have another brush in your rotation that, uh, because obviously that Savile Row costs some money, um, and I don't want to have to buy another one of those right away unless I'm buying myself the Coral Red one, which may still do but not like in the immediate future mainly because I have a vacation to pay for um, next well in June and 
have a vacation to pay for in June and a son to pay, or a son that I gotta send to wrestling camp that's gonna cost a pretty penny. Um, it's a week long camp and it's one of the best in the nation, so. I got no qualms about paying for it. It's just, you know, when it all comes down to spending your hard earned money, um, your family obviously comes first and this is something that my son's always been pretty passionate about was wrestling as I was when I was younger um, and I, I love watching my boys well and my daughter she's a wrestler too <laughs> um, so it just it means the world to me to get to see them compete so if it all comes down to where do my dollars go Shaving's gonna have to take a back seat. <laughs> With him being a sophomore, next year being his junior season, um, I don't have a whole lot of time left on all of this stuff, and I need to soak it up while it's, you know, it's living in the moment, so to speak, because, um, as a parent, you know, I guess I've been blessed. Um, my wife and I have four children ranging from 16 to 1. So, um, we have three boys and a girl. And um, just looking at my one-year-old Grant, it's, it's nuts just how fast your kids grow up. And it's, you know, it just really brings to light how quickly you can become an empty nester and that's why you know you gotta kinda soak up that time while you have it living in the moment and I'm sure any of you who are parents can agree to that because <laughs> I mean I my little guy Grant's one year old and it it's almost unfair just how quickly they grow up because you know you obviously want them to get past that like boring just lay their baby stage but at the same time as soon as that's over with it just seems like you're blinking an eye and they're walking they're getting into shit they're destroying the house and you know it I don't know it just blows me away how quick time's going the older you get the faster it goes so um, I'm going to take care of the across the grain pass off camera and I'll be back for the post shave in just a few minutes. So you guys hang tight and I'll see you in a minute. Okey so we are back. I just got done taking care of the across the grain. Got a good rinse. Um, had a few little weepers down here from some irritation from the other day. So nothing that uh, I didn't kind of expect to happen, but obviously didn't happen on the first pass. It kind of always happens on the across the grain. So. You know, cold water, see, it stopped. So, we're fortunate. Um, any which way, I'm going to throw on the Thayer's Witch Hazel. It's odd, you know, shaving like before. It might go lay back down, but and who knows. Maybe I'll just be up with Grant until he takes a nap and then crash for a while. But I'll, find, I'll get to go to the gym at a decent time today because all of my kids are kind of out of school and home about the same time-ish tonight. So... I think when my boys go to school, I'm probably going to run up and pick up a few pork butts for tomorrow, provided I check the weather and make sure it's still going to be nice. <laughs> and um, if so, Anthony, if you need the recipe for, you know, some good pork, I'll make sure I take care of you, bro. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to get the unscented. Uh, But, um, as I said before, before today, this week, whatever, um, I have not been a Bay Rum guy. In fact, I've almost contrary, almost kind of refused it. Uh, the, the few Bay Rums that I had, um, all of which were very, very potent on clove, and it was very off-putting to me. Um, when, uh, 
when I got the the uh, sample, the aftershave sample of the Pineapple Bay Rum, I figured I would roll the dice on this um, Atomic Age, and I couldn't have been happier with the result. So, um, give the splash a little shake. And I've been doing this on the last few videos. If you um, if you try and pour this, it's going to spill all over. If you cover it up, turn it upside down, and just let it go, you get a little burp, and it stops. And that's more than enough. Let it breathe for a second. This stuff's going to burn like a son of a bitch. So. But any of those weepers are more than taken care of. I don't have to worry about any infections now because there's enough alcohol in this. Holy shit. But this stuff, oh, I wasn't a Bay Rum guy. I am now. But at least I'm a clove-free Bay Rum guy. So, you know, you can take that for what it's worth. Um, I'm sold on this. I will, if I burn through this, which won't be anytime soon considering it's five full ounces of the CK6. Make sure I get this right under the mustache. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm gonna walk around smelling like a sexy bitch all day. So, <laughs> so any which way today, um, I'm gonna probably be bidding trusty Rusty farewell for a short time. So, everybody say bye to Rusty. Say bye, bye, trusty Rusty. Uh, this is a. George Wollstone Home, um, 1830s Sheffield. It's it's not winning any beauty contests. I mean, if you can see, the tail's got a chip in it. Um, I got this from a fourth generation barber, and I sent it down to John Romanoff, and he put a nice edge on it, and it lasted for hell seven months. So it's done more than its fair share of what I needed it to do. Um, and then we used the Omega Bore Professional. Like I said, this thing is getting a lot more use. It's getting softer, and I couldn't be happier with the result. So um, I'm going to keep showing that some love. Uh, and then today we went with PAA's Atomic Age Bay Rum. Okay, maybe I need to switch hands because I might drop that. A little more dexterity with my left hand. I don't worry about breaking plastic, but... Like I said, this stuff, you're going to walk around smelling like a sexy bitch. It is awesome. Amazing stuff. So, congratulations, Douglas Smythe, on turning a complete Bay Rum hater into a clove-free Bay Rum lover. <laughs> um, soon to come, I don't know if it'll be today, tomorrow, whenever, um, I'm going to use this pineapple Bay Rum. This stuff, it's, it's almost the same exact thing with just a little hint of um, pineapple to kind of mellow it out a little bit. Um, this stuff has a little bit of a bite to it, but a pleasant one. So, um, you can't go wrong with this stuff. I, but, at any rate, um, I'm going to get ready for the day, which I don't know what I have going on, other than possibly picking up some porks, and I don't know, maybe I have to pick up a few... Uh, beers for my sister-in-law for when she comes over tomorrow. Nikki beers. Nikki pops. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Any which way. You guys have a great day, night, whenever, and I will catch you again shortly, soon, I don't know when. Possibly tomorrow. So, keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.